Waymo and Jaguar just had a little baby. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty exciting because a uh, very unlikely pair, I would say, and definitely the announcement is much bigger than uh, the actual combination of what they're doing. We're going to talk about it. Um, also, Mobileye is talking trash about Uber. Who isn't really? But we're going to get to that very interesting story, I thought. Uh, and uh, more news about Tesla MCU and comment of the day as well. So let's get going. Take it All right, so um, Waymo and Jaguar uh, today announced that they're going to partner up. As you know, Waymo is a company that, well, it's Google's company that um, is making self-driving cars and uh, mainly for, not mainly, exclusively for uh, using it for the uh, ride-sharing service, right? Um, now, they've been pretty successful. They're considered to be the best self-driving technology out there right now. Um, they haven't killed anybody, so that's, that's always a plus. Um, and uh, Jaguar just basically unveiled their very first uh, all-electric SUV. Um, that is a looker. I like it. I'm considering it myself. It's a compact SUV, and of course, I already said it many times, I don't like how they've uh, uh, handled this whole you know, trying to compare themselves to Tesla, but nevertheless, I like the car. Well, so they're kind of announcing they're going to partner up in instead of those kind of ugly, um, uh, what is it, Chrysler Pacificas, uh, which are gas cars. I think they're hybrid, plug-in hybrid gas cars, but nevertheless, they're going to be using uh, this, uh, what I think is a beautiful SUV. Uh, so I love it. I really, really like it. I think it's a perfect match of self-driving technology, a new self-driving AI technology, and the new car technology, which is, you know, electric cars. Um, it's a luxury SUV, right? So you'll be riding in luxury. Um, the only thing it's not as big, obviously, as uh, Chrysler Pacifica. So that might be a bit of a concern, especially if you're riding with kids or if you have a larger party. I believe Chrysler Pacifica was able to accommodate that. Now, they're not erasing their whole Chrysler Pacifica or fleet so I'm assuming it's going to be a good alternative uh, but um, one thing I, I, I do have to mention is that um, they've announced that they're going to uh, over the next few years when was going to get 20,000 of these babies now that raises a question are they really going to ramp up production to a lot of these or are they going to take a big chunk um, out of the reservation list that they have and the interest that they have and give give it to a Waymo, which will slow down the, um, you know, people going through their reservations and so forth. Now, I'm assuming it's a good problem to have, but nevertheless, for those of us who might be interested in buying one, um, this is definitely uh, not something that <laughs> we want to hear. Nevertheless, I think this is a pretty cool story. I think this is definitely, uh, definitely best of luck with them uh, to them. And I, it's it's been bothering me for a while that all this, uh, uh, car sharing services are not always using the electric cars. As a matter of fact, most of the time they are not. Uh, can you buy this as an option for your IPAs as a basic f flash cube in the chat room? No, this is, you know, this is just going to be exclusively for Waymo, exclusively for ride sharing. Uh, as you know, Jaguar doesn't really have really amazing self-driving features or anything like that. So this is going to be sort of just made for Waymo. Um, uh, did anyone see their commercial for the iPace? It was very good. Yes, they are. They, I really like the commercial. It's it's pretty cool. And there's a lot of uh, YouTube stuff there for uh, for iPace that I really like. All right. Before we move on to the next self-driving story, uh, let me remind you this, uh, that this video is sponsored by Evanex. And so is the channel. If you're shopping for Tesla aftermarket accessories, including the Model 3, this is the place to go. You can go in the description of this video uh, to see uh, a discount code. If you want to save a few bucks, they've created it specifically for our community here. And by the way, if you are watching this for the first time, uh, please do join this community uh, by clicking the subscribe button. All right, let's let, let's move on to another interesting story. So uh, Mobileye, as you know, Mobileye was the original uh, partner for Tesla to create the Autopilot 1.0. Then they had a little breakup, and but Mobileye continued doing this technologies for many other companies, including their hardware now is in the new Nissan Leaf. Uh, and they were also bought out by Intel last year. Well, they, uh, that, well, I like this, I have to say. They decided that they're going to uh, take the footage, the, the grainy, dark, altered footage that, that, uh, we see from Uber and run through their software. And they said, guess what? 
our software was able to handle it uh, and uh, we were able to determine it one second before the crash which would have been enough to either uh, avoid uh, the pedestrian or at least break enough not to kill her. Um, again, this is all speculation, but nevertheless, I, I thought this was a good rebuttal and I hope it would, I, I, I really wish it would get more coverage because it's a good rebuttal by a good technology versus what happened with Uber. And now I guess there's speculation that Uber's um, uh, avoidance system was completely turned off. It's just rumors, but still, if that's true, that would be mm, bad, I would say. <laughs> um, all right, by the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It always uh, does better when you do that, and I appreciate it. I always try to get about 100 per video. I, that's kind of my personal uh, um, uh, favorite. Okay, let's move on. Um, Tesla has also announced today, uh, uh, Elon Musk said that uh, the uh, MCU upgrade, right? So this is a hardware and a software upgrade that the brand new Teslas that they've been building for the la last two or three uh, weeks uh, model s and model x uh, are getting this is a this is a brand new hardware that uh, is that helps significantly uh, to uh, have the screen just just operate faster and react faster and it's also software update as well um, as you can see this is a video uh, from eli of uh, my tesla adventure one of my guests from the saturday show uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, of course i'm going with eli on his new tesla adventure uh, in April. Um, stay tuned for that. But anyway, so he did a comparison from the uh, Model X was just literally delivered days before and his own Model S. And you can see that he's just timed the same operations that the second one is just twice as fast. Um, I do have to say that I've noticed mine is not as bad lately, but nevertheless, now Elon said that there are two things that are going to be available. One, uh, everybody is going to get uh, the software update. So I'm looking forward to that. So he says that is going to make a pretty big difference already. Uh, but if you want to get a retrofit, for the MCU, whatever it stands for, by the way, main control unit, media control unit, whatever, uh, that piece of hardware, you can now get it. Now, they didn't say how much it's going to cost. I'm going to assume not cheap because I think, you know, plus the labor, of course. Uh, but uh, this is this is good news for those of you guys who want to do that. I pretty much don't. I mean, yeah, my screen is slow in some cases. It is faster now. And I'm sure with an upgrade, it's going to get uh, a, a good enough. So I'm not going to go for it. But I know some people really, really like it. And uh, they've had some complaints about it. So good for them. Um, Let's see. Oh, by the way, thank you to my Patreons, of course. If you want to support the show, uh, please uh, also go to the description of this video and you can support the show there. I post exclusive videos, behind the scene footage and pictures and everything I'm uh, planning to post most. So thank you for those of you who do this. But basically, it's patreon.com slash E4 Electric. Um, all right. Another interesting story from Tesla. And I really like this one. So basically, Tesla is starting this program called Tesla Start. And what they're going to do, they, this is a program to train people who are in school and colleges. They're going to basically take their uh, three month program and implement it as curriculum in some of the colleges. There are two colleges that are doing this already. One is in Los Angeles and not, I forget where another one is, but I'm hoping they're going to grow that network. Uh, so basically, you would get, from what I understand, you would get credit as a student when you are, you know, taking these classes. And then after you complete this program, you are going to obviously be wanted by Tesla. That's kind of basically harvesting its own future mechanics um, and, and service people. So I think this is great news. I hope they partner up with more colleges. There are only two right now, but again, I'm sure it's going to grow. Uh, this is great because don't forget, right now, they kind of only have a choice to get mechanics from other companies and retrain them. Now they're kind of going to train them from scratch. And even if you're not planning to work for Tesla for the rest of your life, obviously, this is great training because you're going to be trained on how to work on electric cars, which is completely different than how to work on um, on, on gas cars. Yeah? You don't have to worry about, you know, transmissions and, and all the changes and stuff like that. But you do have to worry about a lot of newer uh, uh, software related stuff and stuff related to self-driving technology and so forth. So I think... Um, um, it's, 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 I think it's, it's a great idea. Um, I would love to sign up for this program says bromance in the chat room. Uh, yeah, actually, well, if you're planning to, are you planning to work for them? Uh, I mean, I'm not, I don't mean to laugh, but I think that would be kind of cool. I, I, I guess there's already a bunch of students who are graduating from this program. I would love to talk to some of them. So if you're going to attend bromance, just let me know. 
uh, would love to hear um, about your experience. Uh, by the way, next Saturday, uh, this coming Sunday, Saturday, this coming Saturday, my interview is going to be with Roger Atkins. So tune in for that. He's a V blogger on LinkedIn and a consultant for a lot of uh, a big brands. So we're going to have a really good conversation all the way from the UK. Twice in a row, I have a I have someone from the UK. Last week, it was uh, James Cook, and that was a really really cool conversation. I really enjoyed it. It's on. Uh, on my channel, so check it out. All right, let's move to the comment of the day. Uh, this one is a long one, but I'm going to read it out anyway because I think this is a great, um, great uh, comment. And of course, this has to do with uh, the uh, fatal accident that Uber had uh, the other day. Um, and uh, this comes from uh, Ruben Yu, and he says, "What we need to know, what what we need now is to create a culture responsibility." We need better driving schools that uh, thoroughly screen those that can drive and those that cannot. If we still continue with a serial box cutout licensing like we have now, uh, then we would continue to have 40,000 driver fall deaths in the United States until self-driving technology matures. It is up to us to make uh, driving safer. Okay, agree on two points. Uh, one, yes, we're giving out driver licenses to anybody and we kind of never have them come back and check if they have, you know, digressed, which a lot of people do, right? Once you get your driver license at 16 around here, in other countries it's 18, but still, you know, you change as a person, as a driver throughout the next few years, but we never really have those people come back and say, hey, did you get really lazy? Did you forget what we taught you? Uh, and so unfortunately we don't do that and it's a shame we should. Um, this is a privilege, not a right to drive a car, at least that says right there in your DM DMV uh, manual. So I think people should remember that. Um, and yes, personal responsibility is not something that we're good at here at the United States. I hope we would do more of that. Uh, I got a lot of slack for calling out the pedestrian, uh, uh, for not looking both ways and not being scared of the car. And again, it's probably not her fault. It's a fault of us as a community that we just kind of allow this whole pedestrian have a right away. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, kind of a mentality. I hope it changes. But at the same time, you know, the help is coming. The self-driving technology is going to be here very soon. Definitely in the, in the next 10 years, giving it some real, like real, you know, room for error there. Um, and we uh, hopefully won't deal with this that much longer. Over a million people die worldwide in car accidents and 40,000 of them are here in the United States. So I fully, fully agree um, with this comment. And it's, uh, it's, it's, I, yeah, we, we need, we should talk more about that. Um, all right, guys, uh, this has been, um, this has been fun. I, I um, don't forget that we do this. Uh, I do this every day. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, I'm now having problems with my graphics. Um, well, I won't be able to do this, but um, Join me tomorrow. It's a 11 o'clock start as usual. Uh, don't forget on Saturday I do uh, interviews uh, that um, that uh, are usually with uh, industry um, industry or other YouTubers or industry. Oh, there you go. I finally got, got the traffic. Uh, or or industry uh, big guns, hopefully. And I'm gonna have some people from different brands, so I'm gonna enjoy that for sure. Sorry, I was just looking for my graphics, but here it is. Um, anyway, um, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, please uh, put the comments in the comment section. Check out my Patreon in the description. Other than that, see you tomorrow, and remember to stay charged.